Welcome to one of three videos which will show you how to use Adafruit I.O. service to create amazing dashboards and uh, share data online in real time. This excellent service, um, as you can see on your screen there, allows you to create different gauges, buttons, interactions between your Raspberry Pi and your devices over the internet. So one of three videos here. The first one's going to show you how to get set up. And in the second video, I'm going to show you how to set up a feed to send your data to a dashboard. And in the third one, I'm going to show you how to um, send the data and write a program. And in the third one, I'm going to show you how to create the actual dashboard here and some of the features. So what you'll need to do, first of all, is head over to um, ioadafruit.com and sign up. It's as simple as that. Once you are signed up, you will have access to all the features and uh, it's free, which of course makes it absolutely fantastic. So I'm just going to sign up and uh, we'll have a look at what it looks like afterwards. So once you are signed in, you will get something like this. Um, and to be honest, uh, it looks really complicated to begin with, but it's really quick to get your head around it. So I'll give you a quick overview. Uh, obviously you've got your profile here, which is your um, own account. Um, you've got your feeds, which is the page you're on at the moment. And we'll look at them in more detail in the second uh, video. But basically your feeds tie into your Python program and then input data into here. So I've got some feeds here which in a simple program, pulling information from some sensors on my Raspberry Pi. And then these feeds then write in to the dashboard. Okay, and in video three, I'll show you how to, to use the dashboards. Um, one feature you need to be aware of is your key. Obviously don't share this with anybody. Uh, when you click on that, it will give you um, your IOO key, which allows you to authenticate and use the service. So before you need to move on to video number two, uh, grab this key and uh, write it down or save it, copy and paste it. And then we'll have a look in the second video, how to create feeds and how to send data from Python to your feeds um, on your IO. Okay.